Hi, welcome back to Link's Awakening with me, Abnidi. So, last time we got the magic powder from the witch, and now we are looking what we can do with it. So, we have already heard from the um, from the raccoon that we need to... Well, that he doesn't like powder, so we try to find that guy, I guess. Um, should be just ahead. Ah, come on. There we go. Yep, should be just up ahead. There we go. And let's see what happens. And it's, uh, what was his name? Tarin. Yes, Tarin. The last thing I I can remember was biting into a big juicy toadstool. Then I had the darnest dream. I was a raccoon. Yeah, sounds strange, but it sure was fun. <laughs> oh, was it? You're a, you were a mean raccoon. But um, yeah, uh, don't bite all the mushrooms you find. Is the story of the, <laughs> the the essence of this story, I guess. I'm all tuckered out. I think I better set the spell before I head home. All right, but he is now not doing anything. But we can now go up here. Before we couldn't because um, yeah, the the forest was changing and shifting when we tried to go up there. So there's Koponga Swamp to the right and the forest down. So these things are. I really don't like them. They will eat your shields. There's also a phone. And I don't think we can do too much over here yet. Danger, keep out, except, except Bow Wow. So there's a hint. We have to find a Bow Wow. But I guess we'll have to do that later. For now, we'll just grab whatever is in that chest. And it is the tail key. So we can open the tail cave gate. And uh, the owl wants to talk. Ooh, take the key and go to the tail cave. Retrieve the instrument that is hidden there. Go now. The windfish is waiting. Hoot. All right, all right. So I guess it's uh, dungeon time. Soon enough, at least. So yeah, the Link's Awakening is a bit weird, as in um, its use of of non-Zelda, uh, non-typical characters like this one is obviously inspired by Mario, I guess. The chain chomps are obviously um, inspired by the chain chomps. And, well, I guess Moblins are usually in Legend of Zelda games, so that's good. But yeah, there's uh, more more things coming, I guess. Alright. Back through the village. Uh, where are we on the um, trade quest? We are on the banana. Okay. Need to find someone who wants a banana. Uh, I guess the dungeon is over there. That seems like it's a bit laggy from time to time. So I'm guessing the, the Nintendo Switch is getting at its its um, its limits to its limits, and well, yeah, it would be nice to have a new new Nintendo Switch at some point with, with stronger, beefier hardware. Anyways, the tail cave is open. Let's go in and explore. I don't think we can get any... Well, I didn't check the shop. Perhaps we could get an item in the shop that allows us to get more... Um, pieces of heart already. 
But yeah, uh, so here we have these things that we can't really um, defeat except throw them over the edge of the room. Small key! Alright, that sounds good. Sounds good. So here we have the compass. Nice. Now we can see where chests and nightmare are hidden. Nightmare? Uh, this compass has a new feature. A tone will tell you if a key is nearby. Nice. Oh, and we already have the map, apparently. So I don't really have to check all the walls. Eh, maybe we do still have to check because there may be hidden rooms. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we don't have bombs anyway. So there's... Ooh. A Guardian Acorn. It will reduce the damage you take by half. Nice. Now I just wish I could move a bit quicker. And there we have a chest. With a key. Nice. Alright, we have two keys. That's good. And what do we have over here? Just a couple bats. And a piece of power. Now we are stronger as well as less um, less prone to <laughs> to damage. Ah, come on. There we go. Yeah, there we would need uh, bombs. We don't have bombs yet. Okay, can we move that? Oh, we can. Nice. So we could go up there. What else do we have over here? Ah, these flame things. Ah, come on. Just playing like a noob. <laughs> ah, another chest. Nice. I mean, we are supposed to get an item in the dungeon. I'm, I'm hoping. And it may actually be bombs. Hopefully. We'll see. So, there's another key. Nice. And, yeah, I think the first dungeon is not too big, so we do have, well, there's stuff over there. Oh, there's another key around. Okay, come on, come on, bat, come on, up here. Just a big... Ah. Ah, okay. Yeah, I see. We probably get the item to jump over these... Um... Oh, that's a skeleton. Those always jump over until we can corner them. Ah, uh, what do we have down here? Ah, that's closed off. I see. Yeah, let's go through here then first. Okay, skeleton, into the corner with you. There we go. Can't go down. Oh, do we have to... We have to do everyone in the same uh, color, I'm guessing. So... Blue. Green, blue. There we go. Oh, also, I think the owl, we can put some powder on it and it will give us a hint. You found a stone beak. Oh, no. Ah, okay. It's it's different. I was uh, in, in the Game Boy Color games, I think. Found a stone beak. Now to find an owl stage, statue to fit it in. Turn aside the spined ones with a shield. Ah, there will be spined... Spined enemies that we can um, turn upside down. I mean, it's classical 2D Legend of Zelda stuff. Alright. Can't do a thing here. Ooh, enemies respawn quite quickly. Yeah, um, I'm guessing we just go up there. Heart, good. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> 
And I do think we need the bomb. Yeah, I, I don't think the powder will do anything. And that's the bat. We still have to check the, the entrance here to the right. Um, but let's go this way first, because why not? Okay, there's just uh, one of those Electro Sun things. I always imagined those to be fire based and not electro electric based. But I don't know. Uh, what do you want to say? If there's a door that you can't open, move a square block. Yeah, so it's probably this one. Works for me. And, ah, there's the spiky ones. So those we can turn. And then defeat. And it will give us a um, underground passage. Turn aside the spined ones with a shield. Yes, we did that. Thank you very much. Yeah, so here we have Goombas. So that's uh, another um, non-Legend of Zelda style enemy, isn't it? And more Goombas. Oh, we can jump on them. That's cool. Alright, we are over here. That's good. I think that may... Yeah, it looks like it's the place where we get the item. And it is the Rock's Feather. It feels like your body is a lot lighter. At least once we have set it to... Um, y, I guess. So now we can jump. And grab stuff that's up ahead and we can jump over these um, one wide holes oh it does take a bit of, of um, the animation starts after a bit so we it's not hop well actually here it's better but in the underground it was a bit like um, it, it took some charging up and that could lead to, um, yeah, to some <laughs> danger. Okay, but we have to go to the south still. Actually, we do have a key, so let's go over here first. To that key block. See what we can do there. Oh, come on. Okay. And I have to press the right button, so that's Y, not X. There we go. <laughs> and there is a key. It's the large key, or the nightmare key. Now you can open the door to the nightmare's lair. Nice. So I hope I'm not dying on the boss. That would be unfortunate. But yes, we still have a bit to explore over to the right. I think it's over here. Yes, okay. So let's see what we have. Skeletons, okay. go one down two down ah so it's just a uh... oh nice it's just a, a one-way door I guess and that's the map <laughs> oh nice now that we have everything almost everything we get the map ah so that symbol means it's a one-way door from here to here but here we see there's a yeah, that's where the, the bomb is. So can we actually put a marker down? And will that be shown when we are on the over, over, um, well, overworld map? Uh, other than that, I think we have everything. So we can just move to the boss. I don't really want to fight you guys. 
I will have to fight you, probably. Ah, ah, come on. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! I did press Y. Okay, bye. Oh, hello, mid boss. Yeah, I have to be careful. Ah! <laughs> yeah, okay, the first game over. I guess in the beginning it's um, more likely to happen with only three parts. But now it gives me the, the opportunity to check if the marking actually... Uh, no, it didn't mark anything, so let's put one here. Well, don't know if it's a heart. Let's put the pike thing. All right, so we can at least clear this one. Good. All right. Back to it. Just ah, oh, come on. I it's, it's sometimes I get hit by well, where I don't think I would be getting hit. I think it's it's easier to see when you get hit on the Game Boy version because it's it's clearly ordered in tiles. But ah well. Oh. There we go. Now. Yeah, but it should be possible. I mean, <laughs> I'm just playing, but there's there's no excuse for that. I mean, I could play it safe by just trying to get one hit in instead of two. Alright, come on. Yeah, he got me there in the end again, but... That's fine. We get a fairy. I don't think there's... Um, well, there may be bottles for fairies. I don't know. But we now get a teleport tile uh, to the beginning. So that's cool. What do I do? Ah, just stand there a bit. It's not immediate, which is actually quite good because otherwise you would... Um, oh, hello. Would be hit immediately. Now we do have the the key. I think that's the way up should we fall, because you can fall at the boss, I think. Oh, and there's also a bit of health that you could get. Nice. So, um... Let's see what the boss has to do. Uh, has us do. Yeah, I remember that one. Buzz Buzz Outsider. Moldorm. Yeah, we have to just hit the tail and not be. Uh, ah, there we go. Not fall down. And not get hit too often. So three times. Now he's red. I mean, okay, he's not changing anymore. But that's it. Yeah, that's easy. <laughs> I thought he would uh, take way more damage and there would be way more danger to fall down. But, well, not take more damage, but take more of a beating. But yeah, we got the heart container. Maximum number of hearts increased and health refilled. Nice, so things are getting easier and easier now with more hearts. And we got the full moon cello. Nice.
and a nice little jingle that we get from the Moonlight Cello. So yeah, party for that boss down. Swamp. Swamp. A path opens in the blooms. Oh, does it? And yes, I think that's that for today's episode. Oh no, the owl wants to talk to us first. Obviously. Ooh, that is an instrument of the sirens, I have to admit. At first I did not believe you were real. That instrument, along with the seven others is in the set, has the power to wake the windfish. You must collect them all. I was instructed to give you directions. Your next goal is north, in the Goponga Swamp. Good indeed. Alright. But yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, if you like this uh, episode, consider subscribing, uh, liking or commenting. Other than that, thanks a lot for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed and hope to see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.